right. Hello, lovely people, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Our speaker for this lecture is Matt Choi, the founder and chief strategist of Sertris Trading. He has over 20 years of experience in trading. Matt, if you need anything at all, I'll be right here on mute. And with all that said, the stage is yours. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, let's get started here. Um, first, I want to thank The Money Show for having me here today. It's uh, always a pleasure to share my experience and knowledge. Um, a lot of people think that trading options require crazy high IQ, but that's not the case at all. In fact, Warren Buffett has said many times that people with 160 IQ or higher are not good traders because they overthink too much. So thank goodness my IQ is much lower than that. Um, you know, actually, most successful options traders simply have the discipline to trade a few strategies very well. It's uh, quality and not quantity. So my goal for the next 45 minutes or so is to share with you a complete option strategy that you can use right away. Um, it is one of the best performing strategies that my students are using right now. And I hope you can use it right away um, as we head towards the holiday season. Um, to make sure I have enough time to give you all the information, I'm gonna go straight through this presentation without stopping. Uh, first, a quick disclaimer before we begin. This presentation is for education and entertainment only. It is not to be considered investment advice. Um, never trade with capital that you cannot afford to lose. So I'm going to start with something that is actually totally unrelated to trading, but I think you will find it quite interesting. It will only take me two, three minutes. Are you guys okay with that? All right, fantastic. So what do these companies and organizations that you're seeing on the screen have in common? Now, I trust that all of you know Amazon, um, the logo on the left-hand side there. So we'll start with them. A while back, my wife and I wanted to buy Scrabble to play with our son. Um, I think it's a great way for him to learn new words and spelling, of course. So I went on Amazon and found this for 50 bucks. And with Prime, I can get it here same day in Toronto. Now, anyway, I scrolled down the page and I saw all kinds of other stuff that you can buy in that frequently bought together section. And it was showing me the Scrabble dictionary, the Uno card game, Risk, you know, Trivial Pursuit, Cranium, all the classics um, that I played when I was a kid. Um, and yep, you probably guessed right, I bought them all. You see the thousands of people who bought Scrabble from Amazon probably also looked at Risk, Trivial Pursuit and Cranium as well. So they know that by showing me those other games when I'm looking for Scrabble, that there will be a good chance I will buy most, if not all of them. And they were absolutely correct. And the bottom, bottom line here is that Amazon studies customer buying behaviors and they use this data to offer the right products to consumers at the right time. You know, it's kind of like when you go to the mall and buy a pair of leather shoes and the salesperson recommends the protectant spray, right? I'm sure you know what I mean. How about Uber? A completely different topic here. Here is a map of New York, Manhattan. Now, Uber has collected data from literally millions of taxi rides, right? They know exactly where rides are started. They know how far um, the rides are and they know the popular destinations. Um, they know everything about you basically, right? <laughs> so in New York, you probably think that places like Times Square, um, Grand Central Station or Wall Street would have the most Uber riders. Now on average, um, a trip out of Times Square is about 3.9 miles. And that's what those numbers mean. A trip out of Grand Central, 4.2 miles. And from Wall Street, a trip is on average about 4.4 miles. But these three spots don't even make up the top 10. Here are the top 10 spots in Manhattan. Penn Station, Columbus Circle, Central Park Southeast, at the bottom there, Avenue America and 23rd, um, Lexington and 60th. You have 10th Avenue and 43rd, Lexington and 86th in the top right there. Uh, York and 72nd, Chelsea and West Village as well. Now, if I am an Uber driver, guess where I'm hanging out? West Village, Chelsea, York Avenue and 72nd. The rides from those places are much longer and travel much further. And as a driver, I would be able to make a lot more money. Now, isn't this data just useful? Um, the point here again is that Uber and their drivers use real-time hard data to find customers and to get to them quickly. And this gives them a huge advantage over the traditional competition. All right, we'll switch gear one more time. Um, I'm a big hockey fan. My son plays a sport, so we talk a lot about hockey at home. 
Anyhow, this is Frederick Anderson, and he is now the goalie for the Carolina Hurricanes. Data accumulated over the years show that 14% of the shots he lets in were on his blocker side, 21% glove side, and a whopping 36% through his five hole. Now, of course, teams playing against him will study these numbers and guess where the players are going to shoot. That's right between his legs. Now, compare Anderson to Tuka Rask of the Boston Bruins. Um, only 18% of the goals he allowed went through his legs, 24% glove side and 28% blocker side. So if I am playing against Boston and Tuka is playing net, guess where I'm shooting? Blocker side, right? So in the NHL and actually in all pro sports for that matter, you know, teams use also hard data to get an edge. And this could well be the difference between winning or losing a game. On a somewhat related note to hockey, this is a photo of me at the Las Vegas Wind Resort. Um, that's my go-to hotel when we're in town. Anyway, behind me there is the sportsbook area. Now, I don't gamble too often, but sometimes um, I do like to play for fun. So a couple weeks ago, Dolphins were visiting the Bills. And even as a Bills fan, I thought, you know, a 14-point spread was, you know, a little too much. And of course, you know, being the football expert that I am, right, I thought 10 points would be reasonable but 14 Excuse was me, a Matt? stretch yep sure, sure hi it's Chantal Matt hi hey. there there's a bit of a buzzing coming through in your presentation do you have anything by your microphone uh, like a phone I, or anything I like don't that? at all let me um my phone is off to the side I'm sorry to interrupt you like no this. problem how, how about now is it is it any better um, let me uh, step what, back a little bit that could be it keep go ahead and present and I'll, I'll barge in again if there's sounds still good energy. sounds good no Thank problem you. Yeah. So where was I? I was saying that uh, um, I, I had uh, I was watching this game and I thought, you know, 14 points was too much and 10 points would be more reasonable. Um, so I put down 100 bucks, you know, on the Dolphins. And sure enough, the Bills won by 15. They covered the spread and my hundred dollars was gone um, just like that. So, you know, after the game, my wife said uh, I should stick with uh, trading and leave football alone. And she's probably right. So obviously, you know, sports betting is a big business, you know, in Vegas, and the bookies know how to create their spreads to win. Um, these are just some of the variables they use in their data mining. Um, they use literally thousands of uh, simulations and permutations to create their spreads um, so that they can win every single week. And of course, you know, it's no secret that they have been using data for a long time in Vegas um, to generate their highly accurate sports books. And Quite frankly, this is how they are able to consistently dominate the uninformed players, you know, like myself. So um, circling back to the original questions, what do these companies have in common? And the answer is they all use a lot of data to be accurate and fast, um, whether it is to sell a widget on Amazon or uh, where to find an Uber ride or where to shoot the puck or spreading a football game. It's not just these four companies, right? Um, today, literally, all great companies today are doing the same and using data to their advantage. Um, so you must be wondering right now, what does all this have to do with trading at all? Well, it's clear that businesses, you know, organizations and sports teams are successful because they use data to their advantage and trading is really no different, right? Um, yet in today's data-driven world, over 92% of retail traders, believe it or not, they still shoot from the hip and don't use any hard data to get an edge when they make trading decisions. Um, instead, they make decisions from their gut and um, they get tips from watching the TV, the news. There is no proper research at all. Um, so here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna share with you a simple data mining technique to find exactly when stocks are most likely to move up or down and how much they are likely to move. Um, wouldn't that be helpful to our trading? Um, I'll then show you how I 14X my return trading this information with options instead of buying the stock. Um, I'll show you a case study of that, all right? So let's dive right in. Uh, first, let's talk about how we can perform some simple data mining to find high probability stock moves, okay? All right, so um, what you see here is the end result of the data mining exercise for ADP, Automatic Data Processing Company. Um, we will reverse engineer the process from here to see how we find this information, okay? So let me explain. Um, looking at the table there, between October 14th and January 3rd, this stock 
has been bullish 23 of the past 25 years. All right, so this means if you bought the stock on October the 14th and sold them on January 3rd, you would have made money 23 of the past 25 years. Uh, that's about 92% of the time over the past quarter century. Um, not only that, your average return during this period would have been 7.41% uh, each year. So that's 7.41% in a couple of months. Um, of course, as you know, most stocks move up this much in a year. And if you're able to construct um, a trade using options, your return can possibly improve to 100% or higher. We'll talk about how to do that a little later when we look at a trade together. Okay, so here is the detailed data um, for each of the past 25 years. It's actually free information that you can download from websites like Yahoo Finance or um, most trading platforms. I will show you where to get this info in a few minutes. Um, again, that's about 92% win rate by simply following a schedule. And I call these um, profit schedules myself, okay? So are you writing this down? Because um, you can actually follow this information right now. We are in the midst of the schedule. Um, you can do that next year, the year after, and so on. Um, you know that repeat every year option on your phone, and you can use that to uh, remind you as well, okay? So again, remember, we're not doing anything fancy here, right? We're just following the hard data, the hard information, okay? So if you're a more visual person, here are the charts that correspond to this schedule starting in 1996. Um, the white arrow represents this period from October to January. 96 was a winner. Uh, 97 was a big winner. 98 was a winner. A uh, big win in 1999, small win in 2000, 2001 was a big win, uh, winner in 02, nice win in 03 as well, uh, winner in 04, 2005 was also a winner, solid win in 2006, a loser in 2007, back in the winning ways in 2008, winner in 2009, nice 11% move in 2010, um, winner in 11, eked out a win in 2012, um, another 11% move in 2013, huge win in 2014, I still remember that one, small win in 2015, um, 16 was a winner, 17 was a small winner, loser in 2018, nice win in 2019, and, um, and last year in 2020, it was another solid win while we were in this whole COVID mess with the stock market and so forth. Um, and this year, right now, the stock has been trading up since October 14th this year um, as well, okay? So here's another visual of the data. Uh, so that's about 23 out of 25 years or 92% during precisely the same period every year, all right? So this is a very strong profile as you can see. Um, so we got to look at it and trade it when we see one. Right? So make sure you write this one down so you can follow it right now and use it again next year and so forth. Um, so how did I figure this out? Now, I've, I know I've met most of you who are in this room in the past, you know, either in person um, at my live events or online at a webinar. Uh, but for those of you whom I haven't met before, I'll keep this um, obligatory intro very, very short. Um, I live in Toronto, Canada with my wife and my son. I've been trading, as uh, uh, Chantal was saying, for about 20 years. Um, I swing trade uh, futures, currencies, and options. Um, and to give you an idea, most of my trades last anywhere from a few days to a few months. Um, and as a, as a chartered market technician or CMT, my primary trading method is, um, is technical analysis. Now, the reason I prefer technicals is because it allows me to find repetitive patterns that I can quantify into rules. So basically, if you think about it, um, anytime I see a pattern A, for example, then I know what to do. I'll do B. If I see pattern C, then I would execute my D strategy and so forth, right? Um, so, of course, you know, when you see a stock like ADP, you know, that moves up, you know, 23 of the 25 years is pattern. Um, so for me personally, because this approach is uh, completely based on data, it removes all the hesitation and emotions and you know, analysis paralysis um, and all that kind of uh, hesitations and, and, and hindrance, right? When you're trading, um, I just follow the rules basically. So um, I keep my tradings, uh, trading as simple as possible. And over the years, I've taught many traders how to do the same. 
Um, and being a more of a rule-based trader, I don't need to be sitting in front of my screen all day. Um, I wait for a setup notification and I put on a trade, okay? So I love to travel and spend time with my family. And I think the way I trade using rules and technicals allow me to do that and, and do what I want with my life without you know being tied to the screen all the time, all right? So enough about me, um, let's keep moving. Okay, so now that um, you know what a profit schedule is, um, let me show you where to find them. Okay, so first you want to go go to yahoo.com. You don't have to write this down. Just make sure you follow along the logic so you know what to do. All right, and then you, you can try it yourself at home. Okay, um, at the top of the page on Yahoo Finance, you can type in a stock symbol that you, you enjoy trading. So in this case, I enjoy trading Procter & Gamble, PG. So I put that in. Now, basically here, you can um, get as many years of historical data as you want uh, from Yahoo Finance, okay? So you wanna click on that historical data tab um, and you wanna just basically choose a range of about 20 years, yeah, years. Um, so you have a good range of data to look at, okay? So here, uh, um, just basically you wanna select that and click on apply and download and you're gonna have the Excel spreadsheet downloaded directly onto your computer. Okay, so when you open the spreadsheet, this is what you will see. Don't worry about details, I'll explain to you right now, okay? There will be several columns of data. The only two columns that you want to keep are number one, the date column, and number two, the adjusted close column, okay? Um, those are the only two columns you want to keep. You want to delete all the other ones out there because we don't need them, okay? so. The next thing you want to do is to use the pivot data option, the pivot um, information option in the Excel spreadsheet or whatever spreadsheet tool that you use. Uh, and you want to line them up with the years across the top, where the green, the green box is, the years, and the actual date across the y-axis along the side. And in the middle, it's just the, it's just the close. That's the data that we want. Okay, so you can use the pivot option to do that. And what you want to do is, now the numbers might be a bit hard to see, but as you comb through the data of the spreadsheet manually, um, it is clear that if you look at over 20 years, PNG is very bullish during a particular stretch of time. I'll show you that in a second. Now, again, this is a tedious process, um, and it would be much faster to do this with an automated script like I do. But I want you, if you're new to this, I want you to try this once or twice. So you have a full understanding of the logic behind this approach. You know, it's kind of like, you know, my son is learning, you know, multiplication and division in school right now. And there's no way, he, you know, I'm letting him touch a calculator until he fully understands, you know, the mechanics behind the calculation, right? So same idea here, try it yourself first, all right? So after this fun exercise, we arrive back with this conclusion. So from July 29th to October the 8th, PNG, has been bullish 19 of the past 21 years. So that's about 90% of the time. Um, basically anything over 80% is great to trade with. So during this period, the stock moves up on average 4.83%. Now I want you to jot down this 4.83% number. All right, we'll kind of we'll circle back to this very shortly. Um, again, 4.83 doesn't seem like to be a big move, but for a, a traditional blue chip company, like PNG is a good size move, okay? And we can turn this 4.83% using options into 100% or higher if we understand how to construct the trade properly, all right? So having um, this data basically changed the way we trade PNG. Um, you know, imagine having a bias of understanding and knowing when the stock has the highest probability to move, and that's what we're looking for. Um, there will be losing years, like you saw, like you see here, and from the example that we used before with ADP. Um, and of course, there's also nothing wrong with buying the stock, you know, and looking at making 4.83% each year, right? But I promise that I will show you how to use options to trade this. So let's do that now. Um, I want to show you how we constructed the trade back in uh, July 29th of 2019. All right, so let's look at that step-by-step step, how we do trade options with this. Okay, so we grab a sip of water. <clears throat> so um, here is the options chain for PNG on July 29th, the exact day when the bullish schedule began. The stock was trading at 115. You can see in the red arrow there. 
Um, and what we did was we used a bull call spread to trade this. Um, what we did was we bought uh, 115 calls for $3.73, as you can see in the orange box. And we sold the 120 calls for $1.51. Um, and we did 40 of these, all right? So at the top right corner here, you can see that we used the October 18th expiration, which is about 84 days out from July the 29th. All right, so the October 18th expiration works pretty well. Okay, so here is the risk graph and you can see in the red box on the right hand side, top right, that the total cost for this trade is $8,800 for 40 spreads. Um, if you're just starting out, you can do one spread for $222, like you see in the red box there as well. So how did we get 222, right? So look at the green box here. Um, we bought the 115 call for 373 each, and we sold the 120 call for 151. So the net is simply 222. Um, understand that uh, 222 is also the maximum risk for this trade. Right then, as you get more comfortable with this approach, you can scale up to two contracts, four contracts, eight contracts, and so on. Okay, in the small red box, you can see that uh, the maximum possible return is about 125 percent or $11,120. Right, and that can be achieved if PNG moves to 120 or higher by expiration on October the 18th. The yellow arrow is where the stock is right now. The green arrow, okay, is the, the move that I'm expecting the stock to make, all right? I'm expecting the stock to make. So note that the red horizontal line represents my target at 120. Now, this is important. Remember, I told you to jot down 4.83%. That's the average move for the stock. Here, I'm asking for the stock to move about 4.6% to get to 120, right? So those two numbers have to jive, okay? You have to, you can't ask the stock, expect the stock to do so much beyond what it typically moves, right? So again, you want these numbers to be in line, right? Make sense? All right, so let's fast forward to October the 8th, which would be the end of the profit schedule, right? The stock is now trading at 122.84, which is the blue horizontal line where the green arrow is pointing. Right, it actually went up for 7.1% uh, since July 29th. Very simply put, if we bought the shares using $8,880, it would have made $624 for me, right? 7.1% ROI using a bulk call, um, bulk call spread in this case, it returned 105% or $9,400 of profit. Um, and that's over about 14x difference, okay? Now, this was, of course, in 2019. Um, I purposely did not change my presentation to make a point. Uh, we did the same trade in 2020 with my students and the spread made 120%. And this year also, the stock hit our price target on September the 13th, right during the, uh, uh, within the profit schedule and the spread returned 82%. Um, but again, I wanna make something very clear there will absolutely be lose losses along the way. Um, remember, this is not 100% and never will be, all right? Never will be. But if we stick with the plan, the majority can possibly be winners, of course, right? So let's look at another stock schedule. Um, you know, some of you might be asking, right? Does this work for stocks kind of going down as well? Let's take a look, right? So between July 16th and September the 6th, Wolf Speed Cree, symbol C-R-E-E, -E, traded down nine of the past 10 years. So that's 90% or so accurate. Um, and on average, the stock dropped 6.21% during this time. Now note that the company recently changed their stock ticker to Wolf, W-O-L-F, but we'll use the Cree because we're showing this example here. Okay, so that's nine of the past 10 years. Um, the stock has dropped. Remember, in a market, that has been super bullish over the past decade. Interesting, right? So when I see a, a schedule where the stock trades kind of counter trend, um, I pay attention. So this data is up to 2019 and we did the same trade in 2020. Let's take a look at how we structure the trade. 
Okay, so here's the options chain for um, from July 16, 2020, where the uh, the bearish schedule began and the stock was trading near 66.28. In this case, we bought the 67 and a half put, and we sold the 62 and a half put. Okay, and we did 20 of them. Okay, remember you can do one. All right, top right corner there, you can see we chose to use the September 18th expiration, which is right in line with the profit schedule. Okay, um, here's the risk graph. You can see in the red box on the top right that the total cost for this was $4,200 for 20 spreads. Again, if you're starting out, you can do one for $210 and 210 will be your maximum risk for this trade. Um, you can you know scale up later on, but of course, definitely start when you're starting out, um, do the minimum paper trade, you know, and uh, and slowly move up to one contract and so forth. Okay, in the red box, you, um, you have the possible maximum return of about 138 percent. All right, and then the red arrow, uh, sorry, the yellow arrow is where the stock is right now, and the green arrow represents the down move that I am expecting for the stock. So note that the red horizontal line represents my target at 62 and a half, which is about a 5.7% move from the current price down, right? So remember that the, the stock on average drops about 6.2% a year during this time, uh, uh, during this, this period. Here, I need the stock to drop 5.7, okay, to make the maximum profit of 138%. Do you see the alignment? Right, so when you when you structure an options trade, any options trade for that matter, not just for this application, um, you want to make sure that the stock doesn't need to work too hard, you know, for you to double your money, to double your investment. Okay, golden rule. Um, so let's fast forward to September the sixth, which is the end of the profit schedule. You see the green arrow that that was the movement of the stock during this time. It went down about twelve point three percent. Okay, if I shorted the stock with $4,200, I would have made about 12.3%, which is pretty darn good, $518. Um, if I used a, an options trade, a bear put spread in this case, it would return 105% um, or $4,400 of profit, right? So that's about uh, eight times difference, okay? So now this was last year's data, and this year the spread also moved lower, right? And hit our price target uh, in mid-August, and the spread made 115% uh, as well in 2021. Um, and I guess that's the advantage of using um, these profit schedules with options, okay? So now, uh, what I just showed you, probably 99% of amateur traders out there don't know. Um, the three examples that I showed you for ADP, uh, PNG, and for uh, Wolf Speed here, um, all with win rates of about 90%. Um, you want to see a couple more? All right, let's do that, let's do that. So before I explain how you can make these trades with me every week, um, here are a, re is a quick recap of the five steps that you need to follow in order to, to, to do all this yourself at home, okay? So be sure to jot these, uh, jot these down. Um, step one, you wanna download the data from Yahoo, right? Your favorite, or, your, or from your, uh, your favorite trading platform. Some would have that available for you as well. Um, once you download that uh, spreadsheet, you wanna pivot the years. Um, to find the bullish and bearish patterns. Um, again, you got to do this manually a few times um, to have a good understanding of that methodology. But in the long run, you want to, uh, to use a computer to do all that work for you, all right? So here are the, the option strategies you want to use. Let me list them out for you here first. So if you're bullish, if you find a bullish pattern um, and the implied volatility is low, you want to use a long call or a bull call spread. Um, you can use a bull put credit spread if the volatility is high and bullish. If you're bearish and the volatility is rather low, you can use a long put or a bear put spread. And of course, if the IV is high and is bearish, you can also use a bear call credit spread as well. Um, the next step would be to pick an expiration date that corresponds to the time frame. Um, and that would be the expiration that you use weekly or option uh, or monthly options would both work. Um, last but not least, you want to enter and exit the trade based on the exact profit schedule timing and make money. That's it. 
Now, if you feel that this trading approach works for you and you want to skip steps one to four and go straight to step five and make money, I want to help you do that. I'm going to give you the best profit schedules and options trades each week. So all you need to do is to spend a few minutes um, to put on those trades. Okay, so if you want to trade with me and would like my help doing this together, you can join my profit scheduler club for options. Uh, let me tell you quickly what the club is all about. Um, number one, every week I do all the data analysis to give you the exact profit schedules for the stocks that are most likely to move up or down based on hard data. Uh, number two, I will also give you the best options trades for those specific profit schedules. Um, and what we do is we always target 100% ROI or higher um, in a safe manner, meaning we do spreads, we do long options, there's no naked options whatsoever. Um, when you log into the members area, um, you see the most recent profit schedule published, um, as well as all the, all the archives um, that you can download onto your computer. Um, here is a bullish schedule for Netflix, right? Back from May, click on that and you see the schedule of how I'm setting up the trade. Again, you can download this onto your computer uh, for key, and you can use it again the following year. Uh, zooming in at the top, um, you see the stock is Netflix. Uh, I sent this out back in May to my students. Um, in the past 13 years, Netflix has traded up 12 those years between May 8th and July the 16th. You can write that down and use it again uh, next May. Uh, that's about a 70 day period with an accuracy of about 92%, okay? So for this trade, we used a bull call debit spread and you see the expiration date, the strike price um, for the trade, the potential return on investment and the exact entry date are all laid out there for you. In the middle section, it's, the mo it's an important section because um, it's all the nuances, right? How do we, how do we take target, uh, take profit? When do we uh, exit the trade? Risk management, uh, how do we deal with earnings? Dividends are all considered here. Um, I make sure everything is consistent from week to week. So there's no guessing when to get in or when to get out. It's all laid out for you here. And last but not least, the visual, right? Here's the risk graph of the trade. So we can track the stock price versus the PL of the options trade. Okay. So this was a winner um, back in July. And my students who participated ended up uh, with 138% ROI. Um, here's another bullish profit schedule from October. It's going on right now. Um, back in last year, during the, the uh, in 2020, a lot of people were worried about the election at the time, but um, I tell my students, you got to stick to the plan and stick to the data. Um, it's for Becton Dickinson. So click on that and you see the complete schedule for the trade. Again, same ID here. It looks the same. Okay, every, every single one of them. Um, zooming in at the top, uh, you see this, I sent out, I sent this out on October 25th. And in the past 18 years, um, BDX has ended up, uh, traded up all 18 of those years between October 26th and January the 19th, about 85 days or so during that time, um, hundred percent accuracy over the past 18 years. On average, the stock moves up about, um, 9% during this time. For this one, we also used a bull call spread, and you can see all the details, entry details, strike prices, and so forth. Um, again, the middle section looks the same. Uh, it covers all your bases, all the situations. Uh, it's boring, uh, but it works. And last but not least, uh, here's the risk graph. In one snapshot, you can see the entire picture for the trade. So this one wrapped up back in January. Um, the stock moved up from 240 to about 260, which was about 9% right on par with the average. And using options, this 9% move turned into a 127% ROI. Um, again, this is the kind of the power and the leverage of trading options if you understand how to use them correctly, okay? So the profit schedule then is now 19 for 19, and we'll see if we can get to 20 of 20 by January, okay? Uh, one more here, AMT. Click on that and you can see the schedule for the trade. Again, you can download this onto your computer. Um, this was back from April. Uh, in the past 12 years, AMT has been up 11 of the 12. Okay, on average, the stock moves up 6.6% during this time between April 21st 
and July the 15th. Okay, so write that down so you, you can have that schedule for AMT, American Tower. Um, for this trade, we also use the bull call spread. In the middle section, again, all the situational and exit instructions are covered. Um, this one wrapped up in July and the stock went up from 249 to about 278, uh, which was about 11% or so. And the options trade that we employed is, uh, returned 153%, okay? So the whole idea is to keep things simple. It's a repetitive process that we are trying to master and do the same every single week. Um, as you just saw, this approach works under all conditions, pandemics, elections, and so forth, okay? So before I talk about how you can join the cup, I need to make some things um, very clear to you here. So again, this is obviously not a get rich quick uh, strategy. It will never do that. Uh, we are using hard data here um, and we're trying to take advantage of that. Okay. So we, you know, it's, it's something that takes a few weeks to a couple months um, to happen. You know, with these profit schedules, it's not, it's not cryptocurrency if, you, if you're thinking of that. Okay. Um, and this is not for those obviously who cannot, follow rules, right? For impulse trader, that you, it's not gonna work for you. You can see these data points are rigid, right? We're trying to follow the hard data. So if you have a hard time uh, or prefer not to follow rules, that's okay. Um, this is not for you for sure, okay? Um, obviously, you know, it's not for day traders, right? You can see we don't get in and out same day. You know, it takes a few weeks to a couple months for these um, high probability trades to, to happen. Um, so if you're a day trader who likes to get in and out same day, this is not for you, all right? It's not for paper trader. Um, it's an implementation program, right? So eventually you need to be able to um, start off slow, but start with one contract and move your way up. So if you're a paper trader only, um, it's not for you. And last but not least, it's not for whiners. Uh, our group, my student group, has uh, we have regular Zoom meetings and we all want like-minded students in that group. So if you're the type who complain and make excuses, um, then this is not for you, okay? But if you're not any of the above and the idea of this strategy with me doing all the work makes sense, um, then this could be a good fit. And here are some of the benefits that you can reap by joining the group, right? So first you have access to an exclusive members area uh, with my top two to three picks each week. So that's at least 104 profit schedules a year. And uh, again, the cool thing is that a lot of times we don't reinvent the wheel and we try to apply the same dates and, and trades every single year, okay? Um, you get the options trade with the schedule as well for those of you who trade options, um, like the ones I showed you earlier. Um, markets can turn on a dime, so you will also get both bullish and bearish setups with me, right? Like you saw with Wolf Speed Cree, that one there, that was a bearish trade. Um, and with me, expect to always be uh, trading and looking at both sides of the markets, okay? Um, you can see the options trade are simple to execute, which means most of the, um, uh, if whether you're a beginner or more advanced trader, you can execute them. We have folks who are trading one contract and then we have folks who are trading 40 to 50 contracts, okay? Um, you get all the details, the exact strike prices, options, expiration date, uh, target, risk management, and um, all the different scenarios for a trade. You know, I try to keep my trading as simple as possible. So the idea here is to, um, you know, do the same for you as well, okay? And because this approach is uh, pretty straightforward to execute, it works with most uh, of the U.S. and international brokerage firms. Um, again, the ultimate goal for me, and I, I'm assuming for you as well, is simply to save time, right? To save time and to uh, profit from these repetitive patterns that, is happening all the time around us, okay? Um, we talked earlier about who should not be trading with me, all right? So let's talk, look at who would be successful trading the profit schedules, okay? So I have a lot of traders who are busy um, with their full-time careers, engineers, doctors, and so forth. Um, they, don't, they want to manage their portfolio, right? But they don't have the time for that steep learning curve. So this would get you up there as quickly as possible. Uh, new traders who need help finding trade, um, this is done for you. And I have a lot of busy traders who want to manage their own retirement account. And this is a safe way for you to do so as well. Um, I also have a lot of uh, intermediate and advanced traders. And here are some of the ways that they use it as a standalone strategy, okay? In combination with what they're trading also with their own strategies and also simply as a bullish and bearish indicator, right? So think about that, using the profit schedule 
using hard data, using that as a bullish and bearish indicator as well. All right. And finally, I have some part-time traders who are trying to reach a level where they can go in independent. Um, and this will help them bridge that gap and to get there as well. Okay. So the retail price to join the Profit Ledger Club over at certistream.com is just $2,997 per year. Um, it is, you know, it is absolutely a substantial investment. However, you can recoup this investment pretty easily with just a few trades. And as you saw, um, you got 104 trades a year, which I would have to imagine you would think that um, for this price, it is exceedingly fair. But um, I'm not going to stop here today. For those of you who are here attending the Money Show Expo, um, who are committed to learning and improving your trading, I will include the following bonuses to support your success. Um, bonus number one, you get my annual profit scheduler uh, publication that contains my 52 bullish profit schedules. Now that's one for each week from January through December, and you can trade them you know, straight up with stocks or you can use options to trade them as well. Um, it's normally reserved for my private mentoring students, but I thought I'll include that today uh, with the Traders Expo, with the Money Accredited Investors Expo, and I believe because I believe you can take advantage of and use that as well. And of course, you'll be getting uh, future updates as well. Also, um, and this is remember in addition to the two to three options trade that I will send you on a weekly basis. Um, of course, you'll get unlimited VIP support. And um, when you become a student, I guarantee you will have questions along the way. So I will give you a special email address. Simply send your questions in or call in. Um, and of course, my team will look after any administrative questions for you. If it was a trading question, they will flag it and send it to me um, right away. Okay. And uh, last but not least, my favorite part is you get my live bi-weekly coaching calls. Um, I want to make sure that you're doing things right, make sure that you're succeeding, uh, making sure that you know, you're structuring the trades properly. On these coaching calls, you know, you can ask questions, we dive deep into trades, um, and I basically share the same insight that I do in my private mentorship program that costs $30,000 a year, right? So this is how you know, I personally spend time to help you get to that next level. Okay, so again, you know, here's a quick recap. When you join today, you will be immediately enrolled as a private member. Um, along with the options trades, uh, you also get the profit schedule every week as well, um, both bullish and bearish setup. You get uh, immediate, immediate access to the entire archive. Okay, and you, of course, with the options trades, you get all the details um, such as the strike prices, the ex uh, expiration date, the, the risk management as well. Um, and of course, I'm also including the three bonuses for you. And again, the live coaching is by far my favorite, and it is dedicated time for me to mentor you um, during those periods, okay? Uh, these coaching sessions are always recorded, so if you cannot watch them live, you can always come back to them at a later time at your convenience. Um, the total value of what I'm presenting to you here today is $2,997 per year. Um, I guess even at this price, it is worth the investment. Um, just look at how you can scale up and recoup this investment very quickly. But from speaking to some of you earlier on, um, I also understand that some of you are new to options trading and don't have a big trading account just yet. So here's what I'm going to do for you um, in this presentation today. If you're willing to invest your, in yourself, I'm willing to invest in you. Um, it's very simple. I've, I've had this rule my entire life. And for the last nine years that I have been a mentor, um, you're not going to pay $2,997 today for this presentation. Um, we've created... 10 gold memberships and these 10 gold members will only pay $14.97 for not one but two full years of the program. Now I want to make this um, as affordable for you, 10 of you who are ready to get started today. Um, I guess if you do the math that's about 50% off the regular price and you can also get double the time trading with me for two full years. The link for you to register now is uh, certistrading.com slash money show 10 um, in addition to the two-fold year gold membership that you can take advantage of right now, I also want to make this a safe decision for you without any risk whatsoever. Um, your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. If after you join within 30 days, you don't think that this is a effective and simple way for you to make money trading options, to build wealth trading options, I will personally buy back your membership and you will get a full refund, Okay. So there's literally no way that um, you can lose here. 
All you have to do right now is um, use the link, certistrading.com slash moneyshow10 to register. Uh, fill in the form that will pop up on your new window and submit it. And you will receive your um, username and password within a few minutes by email. And you can start trading with me right away. And um, if you change your mind for any reason at any point over the next 30 days, you have my guarantee to back you up. Um, so I finished my presentation. I hope it was helpful and I was able to give you a few pointers and some new trading ideas. Um, for those of you joining the club, I will see you at our next coaching call. Um, actually, the next one happens to be next Wednesday, November 24th at um, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, looks like I've been going on for exactly 45 minutes. Um, I'm done. I'm passing the mic back to you there, Charlotte. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. All right, that really was perfect timing, Matt. Thank you. No and that problem. does Have conclude our time. Thank yeah. you so much, you too. That does conclude our time for this session. So to all of our lovely viewers, thank you again so much for tuning in to our virtual expo. We at Money Show do appreciate you and we apologize for the technical difficulties regarding Matt's audio throughout this presentation. Thank you so much for your patience with us and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.